Hello everyone, welcome again in another video. Today we're gonna make a quick tutorial to show you how to fix bottleneck if you have a low CPU and a high GPU. So the first thing, you should go to NVIDIA control panel. If you want a video about NVIDIA 3D settings, just leave a comment. But the main setting we're gonna check today is the DSR factors. So before that, if you have like, uh, before that, if your monitor like supports the 4K, you will not need this step. So first thing, you make sure you enable this one and the second one. And if you have low GPU, you can enable also those options to test them inside the game. And also this one and the last one. Press OK. For the DSR smoothness, make sure it's 0%. But if you have a not very strong uh, GPU, you can increase it to 15 or 25. But this setting makes the game look a little bit blurry. But if you keep it like this, it's gonna be perfect. For the max frame rate, if you have low CPU, you better keep it at, at 60 fps or at 80 fps because we're gonna use 4k resolution or 2k and it depends on your case if 60 works for you best then try 80 fps and if it starts bottleneck you can like return to 60 fps for my case i use uh, this program to limit my fps after that make sure you apply to save these changes and then you can close control panel also i use msi afterburner to undervolt my GPU, and I set the power limit to 90%. What this exactly do? So it keeps the game smooth without stuttering or drop FPS. If you change this value, you should uh, save it in a new profile, for example in the first one, and make sure you press this apply button to keep this settings in case you have jams problems. Make sure you enable start minimized so every time you restart your PC you won't need to do it manually and make sure it's always on this profile. You can so we can just this first in Spider-Man Minds Moramas, go to settings. This is the graphic settings. You should use full screen exclusive. For your resolution, we can start with 2K resolution. But for me, this one works for me. And for the upscaling, you should disable it because we're looking to use all the GPU performance. This one you can set it to DLA or off or TAA, but, but this one is better. For the reflex, keep it on. Turn off frame generation for dynamic resolution i use choose 60 fps and also 16 hertz for the i use 60 fps with vsync it's off we go to advanced graphics and then you should set the texture quality to very high texture filtering maximum shadows maximum value Depth of field very low because this one consume your CPU. You can disable it, yeah, but very low it's a good one. If you're having issues, just disable it. For detail levels, I use very low because it consumes CPU. This one also traffics low, crowd low, hair quality high, ambient occlusion to this one, weather quality low, enable dynamic reflections, ray tracing, make sure you enable the ray tracing and set everything to very high. Distance for objects, distance, make it one. Or low value like two or three. This one works for me perfectly. And for the POV, it's about your preference. Press OK. And now let's test the game. Let's continue. Hey, Genki. I, uh, I gotta confess something. You were bitten by a spider and now you have power? No, I mean, yeah, but, okay, while you were sleeping in, I kind of played Speed Nonagon. Is the build I sent you last spring, or...? The one on your laptop. Dude, that one's not done! It, it, it's a total mess! I thought it was cool! I love the part with the expanded dodecahedrons. You made it to third level? Yeah. Why? Did I beat your high score? No, it should be impossible. I deleted that level because it breaks the game world. Oh, I gotta go test some stuff. Bye. Are they trapped? There they are. Billboard! Isn't that below your pay grade?
Back to normal now. 